WD-40. Anyone with the soul loves this product. If I have WD-40 in my hands, I'm a happier man. And there is no way you can misuse this product. Is what I would say until I met this one scary man. And his name is your boy Louie. What he did was he bought all the WD-40 from every store. Even the ones that said one per customer. He didn't care. He just took all 20 of them and left. And you're probably wondering to yourself. For what purpose? And discarded your footwear For what well. purpose? And he did all this all for the sake of world domination. <laughs> oh, WD-40, this guy. <laughs> this guy. Is he being serious? <laughs> Shut up, it's serious. He told me all about his plan. Just like an evil supervillain, he started monologuing away. Step one, buy all the WD-40. And because I graduated kindergarten, I thought to myself, well, if I move all the WD-40s into the food aisle, then he won't find them. Better in the children's mouth than in his hands. Unfortunately for me, he found them all, and now he's rushing on to step two. Sneak into the White House staff and disguise as one of their own. Preferably a janitor. Then BAM! Step 3, Joe Biden. Um, what the scallop? I'm just confused. What do you- what? WD-40 and Joe Biden? How does this mix? I'm- can you explain to me? I don't want to relive the memory, but for the sake of the planet, I guess I will have to. So, one day, your boy Luby invited me to his house, and... I was looking around, I complimented the place, said, what well, nice couch. It wasn't any good, but I couldn't be mean. I was a guest. At least the radio was working. Said we go to dirty one. And while I was surveying this unique household, I started hearing a creaking, like a creak, creak. So I turned around and I saw a man in a wheelchair, an old man. So when I got closer, I saw and I assumed, oh, that must be your boy Louis's grandpa. I guess I might as well say hello to him. And before I even uttered a word, I heard a can shaking in the background. So I quickly turned around, and before I knew, all I heard was And his grandpa, his grandpa started to change. And what I saw next shocked me to my core. His grandpa stood up from the wheelchair and started running at Mach 10. I don't know, probably to the muscle beach to show off his new unrusted bones. Oh my goodness, that is scary. Now he's going to do the same to Joe Biden? Wait, hold on, isn't that a good thing? Because, uh... I saw the man yesterday and he's not looking pretty good. As an FBI agent, I am very suited to tell you this information. What we do with new presidents is we inject them with the old president's blood so they can, I don't know, for example, recite the preamble faster than anyone else. But we gave Joe a little bit too much. That would be dangerous for the world, but luckily for us, because of his age, it's kind of in a dormant stage right now where nothing's moving. Your boy Louie wants to change that by adding WD-40 onto him, awakening these sleeper blood cells. <laughs> ha! You tell me? Well, that's gonna be impossible for your boy Louie. According to my calculations, Joe Biden's always protected at all times. Not only does your boy Louie have to get near Joe Biden, but he also has to get within 5 feet because that's the distance WD-40 can go. And you would be right if you weren't wrong. I fell into despair immediately because your boy Louie has the WD-40 easy reach. So all he has to do is be within 30 meters of him. We're all finished. No more. We can't stop him anymore. I... I just want to... Hold on, I'm gonna have to take this phone call if you don't mind. Yes, hello Mr. President? Yeah. Yeah, it's always those young ones causing a ruckus. Alright then, thanks for the update. No, we're not getting ice cream. That's the fifth time this week. I'll see you later. <clears throat> that idiot, your boy Louie, got caught. He decided to use the regular WD-40 instead of opting for the WD-40 specialist, which is very well known for the low odor and fast acting properties.